Hello and welcome to Datasar. Today I'm going to show you how to start building your website at connect.datasar.com. So we're going to go to datasar.com. If you haven't signed up, you can sign up for an account here. If you have an account, click the login button. So we'll go ahead and click login. Let's get our username and our password. Okay, that takes us to dashboard on the main menu. Let's get rid of that. We're going to go full screen. To get to the website builder, you can click on the website button right here. And uh, this is the website builder, post pages, templates, apparent settings. We're going to go over all of these. And um, now you may or may not have already registered a domain. You're good either way. If you registered a domain, it's going to show right here. And, uh, you know, you can start using the website builder. If you've yet to register a domain, um, We'll show you, you can still start, start using the website builder and this is your public preview URL to, for previewing your website. So either way you can click on that whether you have a domain or, or don't have a domain. And um, so let's go ahead and tab over. Well, let's click on to the public preview URL. And this is what your website looks like when you register a domain. So your domain name is going to be up here. You can have a welcome post on your welcome page. The welcome index, home index page is, is, is blank. So this is your home index and this is your welcome post. You're going to have your contact here, which you can edit. You sign up for newsletter, which you can edit. You're going to have uh, your bottom menu. You have your contact page and you have your home page here. So let's go ahead and go back to connect. And the first thing that we want to do is um, go over these buttons. Post, you can can add or edit a post, you can add or edit a page, you can add a page template, you can change the appearance, and then you can adjust the, the settings. We'll do that in just a moment. So let's go to the appearance first of all. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it to a, change it from the main template, which is just the white template, to Cyborg, which is a blue template. So let's go ahead and change it to that. And uh, let's go ahead and add a logo while we're at it. So right here, we're going to click on Choose Logo. Now you can upload a, a, a file right here, upload an image. We already have our logo uploaded. So we're going to go to My Images. We're going to click on this logo. We're going to click Use. And we're going to go ahead and click Update. So for choosing the templates, there's a lot of templates to choose from. We chose Cyborg. You can go to the Help button right here on the main menu and then go to the Help Center right here. And then when you get to the Help Center, click on How to Use Templates. And then these are all the different templates. We chose Cosmo, but there's a lot of different templates. Actually, the first one, two, three, four, the first five are really good templates. I, those are my favorite, actually, those five. Let's uh, go full screen. Let's get rid of this here. Let's go back to Connect. and go back to full screen. So we left off on the website button. We left off on appearance right here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to settings. And under settings you can edit your address information here like we did. If you don't want your address included on your website, uncheck include business address. Same with the newsletter sign up. You can uncheck that. But most people like to have that to collect email addresses which go to your list right here. And social links can be added here. So let's go ahead and let's get our Facebook link. We're going to paste that in right here. And since we made an adjustment to this, and we can change, we can take out our phone number, change our phone number, take out our address, whatever you want to leave in, leave in, whatever you want to take out, take out, and then go ahead and click update. Okay, so we did a couple things there. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to templates. So templates is for adding a page template. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a blog. So we're going to click on the plus sign here. And we're going to include posts. We're going to check include posts right here because it's our blog page. So we want to have posts. And we want to put this in the top menu, page title, blog. And let's choose a featured image. Um, again, we've already uploaded images, so we're going to go to My my Images. We're going to use this one here is our featured image, Upper Yosemite Falls. And then let's go ahead and change out this image here. We're going to go to this image icon right here. 
We're going to click the up arrow here, back to my images. I'm going to use this picture of Upper Yosemite Falls here. Different viewpoint. Click Save. And welcome to our blog. And if you want to change the title, you can do that. To save time, we're not going to change that right now. I would change it to Welcome to AAA Outdoor Scenes Blog or something like that. But let's go ahead and hit Create. And now we created that page. And um, it's probably loading, but let's go ahead and just tab over to our AAA Outdoor Scenes website. And we're going to do Control F5. We're going to do a hard reset, so we're going to re refresh the page. Okay, and there's the new look. Um, so there's the template that we chose. There's the home page. There's the blog page that we just created. There's our social media. So let's go back to the home page and go back to connect. So we covered those three. And the next thing that we want to do, um, okay, is we want to, we already created a blog. So let's go ahead and go to posts here. And this is our welcome post. We're going to go ahead and edit our welcome post, which shows on our home page. Um, we're actually going to remove it from the home page and have it only show on the blog page. But let's go ahead and edit this here. And let's go to um, here. Let me just copy this. So I'm going to change this to El Cajon Mountain. Oops. And then down here, we're going to paste this stuff into our home page. So um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and paste this in. Beautiful El Cajon Mountain, San Diego, California. Let's go ahead and center that, and we'll go maybe 18 point on that. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and add some images here. So we're going to add a featured image. We're going to go to My Images again, and we're going to use this one here. And then down here, I want to add another image here. So again, we're going to click on the Insert Edit, Edit Image icon, the up arrow. And go to my images. This time we're going to use that image right there. Click use and click save. Okay, so we updated our post. And this is the same way that you would create a post. Um, except you just hit the create button instead of updating the post. So let's go ahead and hit update. And now we updated our, our post. And... While we're here, let's go to the content button right here. So we're working on the website button. This is the website builder. We do have a content button where you can add images and so forth. Now you can do this while you're creating the page or the post, but let's go to the content button. If you want to upload an image, you just click on choose files. And just choose a file. We're just going to, for the fun of it, just choose this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and upload. And now that picture of the cow is in my images. So we went from upload to my images, has all of our images there. So that's the content button. Let's go back to the website button. And we're going to go ahead and keep this moving. And we're going to go ahead and um, update our home page. So let's go ahead and click on pages. And under home index, we're going to go ahead and edit this. Right now, the home index page is blank. We're going to leave it home. We're going to call it home. It's going to stay in the top menu. We're not going to include the post on this. Since we created the blog page, we're going to uncheck post here. All of our posts are going to go on our blog page. And then here, let's just type in this stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, move this down. Sign up for our newsletter below to receive informative updates, fun trails, cool photos, and more. So we have that. And then this is going to be our headline for our home page. So our head, headline and subheadline. So let's go ahead and make this, let's say, um, 18 point. And then let's go ahead. Let's do this. 
in let's say 14 point we can add some color let's go ahead and add some color so we click on this uh, color drop down here we'll make it green and there's our home page and um, let's add a feature to image and there's also this preview button right here so you can preview your work right here while you're going along and then also there's um, cell phone mobile preview right here so if you're on the edit screen you go to preview um, you can preview your work let's go back to simple here and what we're going to do is we're going to add a featured image let's choose we're going to go to my images the one that i want to use is this nice banner picture this is actually el cajon mountain as well so we use that and then let's go ahead and let's include one more photo down here so we're going to get to the insert edit image well, that's the media if you want to enter media you can do via youtube it has to be hosted on youtube you enter that right here but we're going to go to insert edit image icon here click the up arrow go to my images and this nice picture of the sequoia national park we're going to use that one save and i think it looks really good we could maybe move this up a little bit right here and let's go ahead and hit update so whenever you make a change you hit update and that 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 way we went ahead and updated our home page and i would i'm going to go ahead and save i want to keep it moving so we're, we're going to go back to pages here and to create a page you're going to click on this create button now we created the blog page with the template we edited the home page we can create a page right here we're going to call this page about and let's just add a featured image uh, go to my images and we're going to show this one of this guy hiking here at El Cajon Mountain and uh, welcome to AAA outdoor scenes and then you know you would fill in that your about page with all your all your information we actually have a webinar a tutorial on that so let's go ahead and center that let's go 18 point there's also a template for doing an about page as well but we didn't want to use that because we wanted to show you how to create a page so let's go ahead and create that so we just created our about page and that's just a real simple way to create the um, the about page and uh, let's go back to pages and the contact page right here you can edit that that's showing on the bottom menu right now that comes preloaded and there's this is the contact form right here let's go ahead and just add something to the front of that let's just add drop us a line we'd love to hear from you and we're just going to put that in front of the contact form and we're going to click update and we can preview that right here drop us a line actually that's going to show as a form when we go to the website and we'll show that in just a moment so we went ahead and we updated the contact form and one other thing when you go to the website button and you go to settings this has your website name here AAA outdoor scenes and then under manage accounts right here make sure that that matches AAA outdoor scenes right there um, when somebody subscribes for your newsletter they get an opt-in confirmation and the opt-in confirmation um, comes from your manage accounts and you just want to make sure that since the opt-in confirmation is going to want it, you want those to match the the manage accounts and then the website name under settings you just want to make sure that those count uh, those match okay so let's go back to our AAA outdoor scenes control f5 whoops I didn't want to do that let's let's do control tab okay so there's our AAA outdoor scenes and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to refresh so let me do uh, control f5 i'm going to re refresh that's a hard reset so there it is there's our new home page here we added the banner we added the redwoods um, the sign up for our newsletter below we didn't adjust this but there's the contact page right here and drop us a line we'd love to hear from you back to the home page this is the blog page that we added 
with the two photos. Welcome to our blog. And then there's our other blog post, our welcome post that we edited, El Cajon Mountain. So on our blog page, we have our blog post attached to the blog page. And then there's our about page that we added right there. Welcome to AAA Outdoor Scenes. And then there's our social media and we can click on that. And that takes us to our data czar. So control tab and control tab. So back to home page here. And there's the logo that we added that shows everything. Let's go back to connect. And one other thing, um, to view all of our tutorials, there's this help button right here. And it's recommended to watch the featured tutorial videos here. If you want to watch the rest of our tutorials, go here. Our help center is here. Let's go back to the dashboard. And that's it. That's how to start building your website with Datazar Connect.